If everyone could take your seat so we can begin the program. Everybody, my name is Steve Ross with the Artists and Athletes Alliance. I'd like to welcome you to our special briefing on the disaster in Japan. Introduction, we'd like to introduce our moderator. He's the director of the Terasaki Center for Japanese Studies at UCLA. He's the chair of UCLA's Department of Architecture and Urban Design. He runs an architecture practice in Los Angeles and Sendai, Japan. And he's the chair for the Little Tokyo Design Week July 13th through the 17th in Little Tokyo. Please welcome Dr. Hitoshi Abe. Um, I'd like to officially introduce uh, Mr. Ichiro Fujisaki, the ambassador of Japan to the United States. Uh, it was a difficult times, but uh, we couldn't have uh, really uh, gone through that uh, difficult period without American support. So uh, all the Japanese are really grateful for American help. And uh, I said that American <laughs> soldiers, rescue team, officials, experts, really worked as if it mm -hmm. was their problem and we feel that they are family members. This is not an exaggeration. And so Japanese will never forget this and will remember this. So uh, on behalf of Japanese, I would like to say to American people that we are so gratified. Thank you very much. So, um, by listen. September, I'm told that 90 to 100 percent of their production will be back, so they would recover it. That's point one. Point two, I was in Alabama about a month ago. There's a uh, Honda factory, Toyota factory. I was told that they do not lay off their workers, even if their production was down. They would keep them and uh, use it for, uh, ask them to clean up things uh, after the typhoon or tornado. So uh, uh, I was telling a very high level official of United States, don't compare the supply chain issue with oil price hike. The reason why US economy is not doing as it should be and some economists say two reasons, oil price hike and supply chain issue, supply chain from coming from Japan's disaster. And I say, that's wrong. Just wanted to share my thought. Uh, <laughs> President of Chamber of Commerce, US Chamber of Commerce, and the main message was Japan is open for business. Mm -hmm. So uh, we'd like, uh, uh, I was very appreciative and all the Japanese government uh, was uh, very appreciative of uh, American high-level people sending that message out to the world. So uh, if these officials go to Japan uh, and s tell them, of course, uh, there are nuclear reactor issue, but it's a certain region. It's not to whole Japan, which is affected. So an earthquake, of course, there are aftershocks, but it's coming down as well. So we don't want that people around the world think that Japan is dangerous. Hey, let's postpone our trip for next three years, five years. No, we are already back in that sense, as you can see from this picture. Please go to Japan, and especially artists and athletes. <laughs> <laughs> um, how actually the devastation of the tsunami and uh, how big earthquake was. This earthquake was like a fifth largest earthquake in the world, in the history of the world. And uh, also uh, uh, the tsunami, the highest point was 100 feet. Can you imagine tsunami of 100 feet is 10 story high building. Uh, so we're coming back, so please do uh, try to uh, uh, have confidence in Japan. Up in front was the United States. It's incomparable because uh, you had 20,000 forces deployed. More than 50% of P uh, US forces were deployed. More than 20 ships, including 
aircraft carrier Ronald Reagan. And so, uh, very frankly, in Japanese eyes, Americans were so big there. I'm not saying this because I'm a, Amer a diplomat sent to the United States. It, it is really so. I hope but this is a chance to uh, improve our relations. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And for Ambassador Fujisaki, thank you, sir. Uh, it was a very informative, very touching evening. Uh, it was a great honor to have the Ambassador of Japan here with us for one evening. And uh, there were so many things that I was struck by, but one of them was that at the very beginning of, of the conference, the Ambassador thanked those of us in the audience for what we may have done to help the people of Japan in these last few months. And uh, I thought that was incredibly gracious and almost odd, you know. Uh, I'm struck daily by the bravery of the Japanese people, by their persistence and their perseverance, just picking, picking up the damage, just rolling up their sleeves and getting the work done. And, uh, and so it was beautiful, surprising, and lovely evening. There were funny moments. Who knew that would happen? It was great. I don't know. So there's something going on that I think is really pushing us to have less and less political conversations and more and more human conversations. There's no more them and us mentality. What happens to them happens to us. And them includes Asia, Africa, all over the world. Afghanistan, it all, it's all about, you know, what happens over there happens over here. And so we have to help each other. Give them support and let them know that uh, there are artists here who care. Uh, there are artists here who uh, believe in uh, uh, supporting Japan. And, uh, you know, hey, open arms. And thank you so much for coming out for such a very short period of time uh, and speaking to us and enlightening us and uh, the, the path of Japan. So I'm proud of uh, our, our organization and I'm happy to be here. Hopefully we can make a difference, really. I think everybody that comes to this wants to really be part of change.